Welcome to Monteriggioni, a beautiful place in Tuscany near Florence, one hour from Florence that you need to visit. Welcome to the cozy city, small city in Italy. So this place is called Monte Rigioni and Monte Rigioni is a walled town in Tuscany, Italy. It's known by the medieval fortification and the town just gives you the view of Chianti, the region of Chianti. And this place definitely worth the visit because it it's located one hour from Florence, so it's a place like that when you don't have a lot of plans to do in a day, you can come here, definitely worth it. The city, it's beautiful. It's the wild town, so it's a small, small city. You can cross it like in 10 minutes walking. And this beautiful wild town, it's also popular because it was mentioned in the book of Dante Alighieri, Divine Comedy. And here in the center of the city, we can see the church, Santa Maria Assunta. Together with it, you're going to find some restaurants, some wine shops, some ice cream parlor, and also you're going to see the many people that live Nearby, they sell some homemade food, so that gives you a lot of options to enjoy the city and to know more about a culture inside a small town, the little medieval city in Italy. In Monteriggioni, it's known by the good wine and the olive oil. It's something you definitely can miss when you come here to try those. And Monte Rigioni, it's also a place uh, that they, is a spot the people that are doing Santiago path or coming to Santiago, they will stop here. Actually, for Santiago path, that's so many different routes, but uh, that pass through Italy, France, Portugal. But uh, this one is from Italy and is one of the spots of one of the routes of Camino de Santiago or Santiago Path.
see and here we see the path that they are there are different paths through uh, for the Santiago but this one is one of the spots it's this spot 11 <laughs> And for those who like to play the game Assassin's Creed, that it's one of the places they base on this place. They also have uh, some souvenirs of the game. Monterigioni it's in the region of Chiante which is considered great wine so when you come to Monterigioni you need to try some wine we are going to try it now let's see which one is good so this is a 100% Sangiovese it is a Chianti it's typical branch of grape in Tuscany Let's see. <laughs> wow, it's really good. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And if you want to, you test the other red wine because this wine, 100, only 100% al Sangiovese. This red wine, 50% al Sangiovese and 50% al Merlot. Okay. So Sangiovese is dry. And Merlot is This dry. one, right? Yes, it's more dry. Oh, the, this, other this is dry. Okay, yeah. And this is 50-50. Oh, okay. 50-50 is with the... Okay, so the most popular wines here are uh, the, the red wine or the, the white the, wine? The red wine. This one is also from here? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can I try just this one? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Are you from here? No, no, no. I, I, I live... Um, uh, from my home uh, with the production of the wine. Ah, okay. <laughs> wow, this one is also yeah. really good. This one is half? Uh, uh, Sangiovese and Merlot. Half Sangiovese and half Merlot. I don't understand a lot of... I don't understand that much of wine. I just like to drink. <laughs> but you like all wine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, really, really good. And I highly recommend this one. Uh, <laughs> Tabon Pil. She just said that she's going to sing a Brazilian one right now, let's see. This place was once a fort in a medieval area and it was for protection. So people were here to protect from the attack of Florentines. And this small town is just beautiful, cozy, gives you a great vibe. It's located in a place in the region of Chianti. So hey, it has a great wines, great olive oils that you should try. And it's a great spot for you if you're planning to visit. It's a great place for you and a quick spot for you to visit here in Tuscany.
Será que dá pra gente levar ele pro... So, ending this video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it. I hope I also uh, convince you to visit Monteriglioni. If you have any doubt, please let in the comments and let's go to the next adventure.